Hi! Welcome to Sunless Seas. This is a starter guide to get you going if you're hoping to get the biggest ship and take on tyrant moths and the like. Uh, this is not a bad way to start, it certainly works for me. Um, you're going to die a lot, don't worry about it. So for your first character, we're actually going to kill him very quickly. Just grab Stranger Setup. There we go. Head to your lodgings. In fact, you don't need to do any of this, but grab the morning news. There we are. Uh, and that'll give you one extra supply, which is something. Uh, then head to London and pick up the offer passage to a tomb colonist quest. You need to take one tomb colonist up to Vendabite, and that's directly north of London. Also, sell your book. You're not going to need that. There we go. Just keep on heading north. Swing by Hunter's Keep if you like, although you don't really need to. Uh, spy on the house if you want. There we are, acquainted with Sisters of the Keep, of Hunter's Keep. Grab the port report. Uh, you, again, you don't need to, it's just force of habit that I'm doing here. I always grab the port report whenever I go past. But you can grab lunch with one of them if you want for another supply, just in case. Because there's every chance the Vanderbite, you know, the Vanderbite colonist is going to eat your supplies on the way. Because they're annoying like that. Anyway, Vanderbite is just north of Hunter's Keep, northwest. So head on up here. Watch out for the pirate ship and the bats, don't worry about them too much. There we go, see the hungry dead eating supplies. Feel free to burn your engines to get there quicker as well. Doesn't matter if your hull takes a bit of damage because we're just going to try and die as quickly as possible. Once there you'll get a hundred echoes, uh, an outlandish artifact, some more supplies and some other bits and pieces. Um, pop in here, you can grab the uh, port report. There we go. Uh, although it's not really needed and then head back to London. That's the map there. Once back in London, uh, you should have 200 echoes now. Uh, what you want to do is head to the shops, uh, sell everything, and then go to the Caminus Yards and grab the Reproach Gun. This one here, the Cotterill and Hathersage Reproach. Pick that up. Uh, don't forget to equip it. Sell the other weapon. There we go, stick that on the deck, although it doesn't really matter. Uh, and then just head out to sea with no fuel, uh, and then abandon ship. Into darkness you will be mourned, no big deal. Choose a legacy, and the legacy we're going to pick is retain 50% of their iron value and one weapon. There we are, the Cottesill and Hathersage Reproach. Make sure you pick the right one, for some reason it leaves the other one as a choice, don't know why. Anyway, now choose a past and pick the Captain of 68, Veteran of the Campaign of 68, sorry. There, that's going to give you plus 25 iron for a total of 50. Now that's going to give you a minimum of 20 damage, which is just going to make life a whole lot easier early on. Uh, I went for wealth, um, own a mansion and retire, and I figured I'd be known as Captain, in which case I would call myself Captain Spoonbringer. <laughs> there we are. Now, don't forget to head to your lodgings to grab the news for the day, uh, equip the gun, there we are. Sell the other gun. That's it. We just want to make as much money as we can. Sell the book again. There we are. Read through it, obviously, first, but there's nothing in there that's particularly uh, useful or in-depth. Um, and head to the Admiral's Admiralty Survey Office, uh, offer the passage to the Toon Colonist, and then head to the Survey Office and pick up the uh, strategic uh, target and this guy wants to send us to Gators of Morn. But we're not going to worry too much about that at the moment. Now just check through all your options to make sure that there's nothing you need. Don't worry about upgrading your crew to 10 yet. And you'll see this does a minimum of 20 damage now without iron. So that's just going to be really useful for taking out crabs and bats and indeed pirates. And then grab as much mushroom wine as you can afford. Now you're only going to make one profit off it, or two profit I think, per unit when you take it up to Vanderbite. But two is better than nothing, and it's a short journey. Now, swing by Hunter's Keep again. There we are. Uh, spy on the house. Nothing bad about doing that. Uh, and you, if you succeed, you may gain 40 fragments, which will give you secrets. Now, also, don't spend your secrets um, immediately. You can spend them with your crew to upgrade your skills. Uh, present yourself at the house. Uh, give the news. There we are. And luncheon with the first sister, Cynthia. There's a good reason for this. Uh, she's going to give us uh, the Gods of the Z Salt's attention, which is useful at the Salt Lions, which we're going to come across in a bit. 
Now head up here you'll see there's a pirate ship here. What you want to do is switch off your lights, wait for it to turn around then it won't notice you and then just broadside it. And then just stick behind it like this. And shoot it twice and it'll be dead. Loot and scuttle her and you should get some sweet sweet loot so I've got four supplies. Now head on up to Vanderbite. Uh, oh don't miss the bats over here. And this is all running at times four. This ship moves really slowly. Now, when you shoot these bats, there are two options. Our terror is still super low, so don't pick the bottom one, pick the top one. You'll gain one terror, no problem, but you'll also gain some supplies, which are very useful. You can also one-shot crabs, butcher them for supplies too. Uh, you'll see the health on the top left, or rather the, the hunger on the top left, was quite high, 36. So I saved using the supply there. Head to Vendabite. Now, this time, uh, one last Height. He's been drinking. a oh, hoi, she chortles. Uh, I passed it, so I got one iron, uh, one tomb colonist, two supplies, um, and an outlandish artifact. No echoes, but that's not the end of the world, because by keeping the secret, we'll be able to trade that back in London. The outlandish artifact. Grab the port report on your way. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can explore as well. One terra, 20 fragments, that's fine. It's a random event when you explore. Uh, depending on the what happens when you ring the bell. Gather gossip, that's the port report there. Don't worry about the um, last tour operator just yet. That's going to take too many supplies and it's miles away. And you kind of want to uncover the areas first. Then, sell off the mushroom wine. There we are, two profit per. Nothing much else to do in there, so head back to London. The uh, cheery gentleman, the cheery gentleman, the blind bruiser, sorry, is probably going to be there and he'll ask you if you want to do something. If you say yes, you'll gain 10 fuel and 5 supplies and he'll give you a quest a little bit later. Now visit the university if you've still got your secret there and you can sell the outlandish reply for 100 echoes. Uh, there. 100 echoes. Uh, but it's going to cost you a secret to get in and see her, so that's why you want to keep that. Get the news. Um, you can rent a room if you want, but I wouldn't bother you. Terra's probably not high enough to warrant it at this stage. You're fine with Terra under 20, to be honest. Um, and just make sure there's nothing else you missed. Now go to the Admiral's Survey Office, drop off the three port reports you've got, Hunter's Keep, or sorry, two. Hunter's Keep and Vendabite. And that will give you two Admiralty tokens. Don't worry too much about getting more for the time being, and then just buy up a bunch of fuel. I've gone for 20 because we're going to go on a pretty big cruise now. Uh, you don't have too much crew, we've only got eight, we're not upgrading it. Um, there we are. So 217 echoes and we're off on our way. This is what the map looks like at the moment. Use the Z-Bat often. I was planning on heading directly to the east, but as it turns out, I went south. Now you can go and see those guys there, the lighthouse guys, and drop off news. Uh, they will drop your uh, terror a little bit in exchange for news, which isn't a bad trade. Um, and again, you're going to be able to one-shot these crabs. Keep hitting Z uh, to send the Z-Bats out to sea to find stuff nearby. And here, pick up the port report, explore the shore if you like. And I've, you may notice I've dropped the resolution here because I'm trying not to provide too many spoilers. Um, I just didn't want... you should... Uh, yeah, you see there, the sailor raises their head. Sniff sharply blood on the wind, and the, that will generate a random number between 1 and 100, which will determine the type of thing when you go ashore um, that happens. I gain two fragments and some other bits and pieces. A drink at the Cocker Magpie will lower my terror a little bit. Uh, 20 echo and one terror, an expensive way to do it. But yeah, uh, and I grabbed a wretched mog. I hadn't had one before. Uh, that's a mascot for the ship, which replaces my ferret. at a cost of three supplies. There we are. And you can assign him there, and he's going to give me plus two iron, which just does a bit extra damage. And it's off again. Don't forget to use the Z-Bat. And that's where the Z-Bat pinged down there. So we're heading down here. Now the port report for the Cumean, um, Cumean Canal staging area is only worth about five echoes. But you can listen for surface gossip and grab a vision of the surface, which is worth uh, quite a lot to a lot of people. Now we're heading over here to station 3. I'm just skipping out the driving around. Uh, this guy came in close, so I thought I would pick him off. So all you want to do is switch off your lights again and then close in. He gave me one hit, but that's not the end of the world. A 
I can handle that. And I got a bolt of spider silk, which is worth, I think, 50 or 60 back at London. Run your telescope to shore to grab another port report. Uh, search for signs of other visitors, high risk challenge, nothing to lose. There we go, failed, that's all for now. And when you get that's all for now, that's when um, the lantern thing will disappear and they appear a minute after being at sea. You'll see that lantern there next to my logbook. And a picnic at the Standing Stones, there we are, will give me five echo and save me five terror. Engage an officer, the Sidral Ridden Navigator. He's cheap here, only tw uh, 50 echo, um, and definitely worth grabbing. Uh, gra I grab the port report as well, and don't forget to assign the officer. There we are, and he's going to give me a little bonus as well. Now off here to Pigmo Isle. Now I've left this quite alone just because it's a really, really interesting one that you want to read in depth. Don't forget when you've got some secrets to use them with your officers to upgrade your skills a little bit at a time. There we are. And just carry on exploring. Use the Z-Bat uh, to find things nearby. Here's Port Cecil. And there's an eel. Now also don't be afraid. Uh, Albino mores, terrifying. Don't be afraid to put full power to the engines. There's a chance it'll blow up, but generally it won't. And it's definitely better than having a lot of damage put on you by a terrifying monster. Uh, Port Cecil's not too bad. You can play some chess and win some pages. There we are. Gained extra pages. It starts to get quite hard quite quickly. Um, but I thought I'd give it another go. After Port Cecil, I left port and just kept on looking around. Headed up to the northwest. There's another eel. Don't forget to turn your lights off if you want to avoid people. If they see your lights, they'll come in for you pretty close. Now, he's seen me here, even though I've got my lights off. It will affect your terror, but your terror is going to be entirely manageable early on like this. So I just burnt my engines and ran away and managed to escape him pretty effectively. So we're on our merry way. Then up to Visage. Let the Shady Cook go ashore. Uh, I didn't realize this was the Shady Cook's uh, place, or at least I'd forgotten. Uh, but definitely grab the port report, there we are. It, this is all about port reports, they make you fuel and quite a lot of money uh, very early on, but dropping him off gave me an awful lot of wonderful stuff. Then Gator's Morn popped up on the Z-Bat, so I headed over there. And again a port report, and you basically just want to kind of pootle about, avoiding monsters. Uh, this was where the strategic news was as well, which was quite good. Um, I thought I'd pay him on the hope that he'd give me something awesome but uh, he didn't give me anything in particular that was new and interesting, sadly. Um, anyway, gather intelligence, a tough challenge. And here we go. So the um, something awaits you, the random one this time. I just bought the Mog, that was quite good, so it gave me a pretty decent chance. I was fortunate, that's all for now. And you'll notice that the lantern on the left has disappeared from the logbook which means that there's nothing else to do. I can keep gaining terror there for no particular reason, but don't forget to grab the port report. There we are, one of this, port report, Gator's Maul, and head off to the next one. And there's the map. From here, oh, excuse me again. Um, keep heading northwest, there's a crack pirate steam pinnace. Uh, this was a bit of a messy fight, for some reason he didn't shoot me. But I managed to get a bead on him here, and then he stopped, so I just sort of backed up and kept behind him. The trick is just to keep behind them, and they won't be able to shoot at you. And with the extra damage, you'll have them done in no time. I got two extra fuel, which was great. allows me to keep out a little longer. And you want to be careful about where you're buying fuel. The best place is to buy at Mount Palmerston um, and London, where it's 9 and 10, respectively. And there's a place in the south, the Iron something or others. Oh, and sometimes the map gets a bit glitchy. It won't actually track. Uh, Demo Island. Tea with the Factor is a good choice because it opens up a restaurant at um, Vendabite. There we are. You've been told of an exceptionally fine restaurant in Vendabite and gained one supplies and six fragments and lost a couple of terror. Um, then up through the Bonnie Reefs. Very pretty. Watch out for jellyfish, stupid jellyfish, and gigantic, terrifying crabs. Um, so I burnt some fuel there just to get past. That's the Bonnie Reefs there. And the salt lines were pinged up here. Now the salt lines are great. You can make 300 very, very easily by carrying Sphinx Stone to London. 
Um, also, the salt rights is now available because of the quest that we did at Hunter's Keep. There we are. Uh, but we got an extraordinary implication, which is great. You can sell that at the um, the lady in uh, London. There we are. That's what the map's looking like now. Sell that for the lady in London uh, with the lady in London for I think 250. So that's definitely worth doing. Um, although it's a trade-off against one iron pirate frigate here, and he was coming in straight at me like this, so I decided to run away. It wasn't going to be an easy way to uh, sneak up behind him, and you don't want to come on at them front on. I'm trying to minimise the amount of damage I'm taking to the hull. I've only taken five damage so far. Uh, then I thought since I was so far north for the salt lines anyway, I would swing by Vendabite and check out this certain little restaurant. There we are, lost one terror. Uh, and there's the bandaged Poissonnier there, who is a cook for the ship, but he's 300 echoes and I couldn't afford him quite yet. I thought I'd sample today's special, and I lost five terror uh, for 60 echoes, which isn't such a bad trade. Um, don't forget to explore Vendabite uh, and grab the Gossip. A serpent image is one that I haven't seen before, but I've actually got the Genial Magician um, on my other save. So now I know what to do for him. And this is where you can drop off the news to uh, gain 5 Terra. Don't forget to swing by Hunter's Keep if you're coming from the north. And also just shoot the bats. There we are, some lovely, lovely bats. Uh, these guys manage terror or give you supplies. Um, if you dispose of the corpses, you'll drop by terror one, but my no, terror is 14, that's fine. So instead, gain one terror and gain one supply for killing them. Swung by Hunter's Keep again. Now, if you speak to uh, Lucy, you'll lose 10 terror. If you speak with Cynthia twice in a row without uh, losing the god's attention, you'll gain an extra iron. Um, but then head back to London. There we are. And foolishly, uh, I spoke to the blind bruiser here, except the commission, and he gave me a bunch of great stuff before I'd sold all my other stuff. And you'll see here, he's going to ask you to take some cargo to Mount Palmerston. Um, and uh, don't forget to grab the news and take a rest in the room if you like. There we are, and in the hold we've got the thing to take to Mount Palmerston. Now head to the Admiral's, oh, go carousing in uh, Wolfstock, Wolfstack Docks. What you want to do is meet a lover. Uh, keep going um, each time you come back until you meet someone and uh, agree to meet them. And you'll see what happens as a result of that. Now go hand in your port reports. There we are. And you'll see here is where I ran out of room here, so I had to drop something off because I forgot I had all these things in the hold. But you're getting fuel each time you drop off a port report as well, so it's a great way to save money. Anyway, sold the firkin of prisoner's honey, the bolt of spider silk, and the bales of parabola linen that I'd got from various places. And then went and dropped off the rest of the uh, strategic information and the port reports. And you'll see the money's coming along quite nicely. 932 so far. Now we're off to see the alarming scholar, uh, after dropping that off, and picking up another strategic report. He wants us this time to go to the Chapel of Light, somewhere northeast of London. Nothing else to do there, though. So the alarming scholar. Now I try to keep five or six of each of these things because they tend to be quite useful. Extraordinary implications, however, as far as I'm aware, are only usable with the Alarming Scholar. I might be wrong there. Um, if you have a few, probably worth keeping one or two just in case. But I kind of wanted the money more. Now I've got 1200. Don't forget to visit the Tattooist. He can give you uh, a couple of skill point boosts uh, and go and hire some crew as well. I thought I'd grab the pres Presbyterate Presbyteriate I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that. Presbyteriate Adventurer. Adventuress. Presbyteriate Adventuress. There we are. And speak to her to trade in some skills. Then off the Hunter's Keep, and I was looking for Mount Palmerston, which in a couple of my other playthroughs has always been in the northeast. So I kind of figured it would be around there again. Um, dropped some news off, had a bit of a fight with the pirate frigate. Didn't go too badly. He couldn't get a beat on me and just played very stupid. It tends to just be a running around game, but I got two fuel and two supplies from him. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, they overloaded me a bit, so I dumped some supplies because I got way too many of those given my crew numbers. Uh, then popped over to the Salt Lions on the way. 
didn't pick up Sphinx Stone, but I'm going to do that on the way back because that's going to give me 300 echoes, but you need 200 up front. Salt's rights. Uh, I did again after grabbing a port report, which was actually a little bit foolish because I should have kept on to it, but I got another extraordinary implication. Now, because I'd met my lover, uh, I got to a choice here, random event, uh, keep the locket because that's going to allow you to get a scion. Then I came across Polythreme. This is quite good. Uh, sure leave, don't do that. It's an expensive way to lose Terra, as it says there. Carrying claim enter London requires six cargo space, which I don't really have at the moment, but it's an easy way to make 120 echoes. And We Are Clay that I bought here for 300 gives you an extra 300 um, engine power, I think. But that's going to ruin my fuel efficiency. Got into a bit of a stupid fight here where I got shot for 13 damage, but then eventually he just got stuck against the edge here, so I just kind of shot him out. There we are, you see, he gets stuck here. Don't know why they do that. Their pathfinding is not the smartest. But got some bits and pieces. Another bolt of spider silk, so that's a bit more money back in London, and that's what the map is looking like so far. You can see I've swung up past Bright to the north and back down. Then I stumbled across the Chapel of Light, which was fantastic because the Smiling Priest was my contact for the strategic information for the uh, Admiral, so I figured I would pick that up. Now heading down to the southeast, figuring uh, Mount Palmerston must be somewhere else, I came across, across this glorious dreadnought, which is terrifying. I'd seen it in the corners on other games, but managed to avoid it. This time it shot at me. I am very glad I wasn't in range of that, because I suspect I would have died. Port Stanton, don't want to spend too much time there. That's a lot of fun. You should explore it for yourself. Another fight here with a rat barge. I think he got maybe one hit on me. Maybe not. The fights actually aren't too bad against ships. I wouldn't go up against anything with more than about 150 health, but I would avoid the Z creatures, um, at least for the time being. Swung past Godfall as well. Uh, only because the Z creatures, until you can stagger them, um, don't really allow you to fight in the same way. But that's what the map is looking like so far. There we are, quite a lot done. So I swung up past the Salt Lions, grabbed some Sphinx Stone, had a bit too much stuff again, so dumped some supplies. There we are. And then figured while I was there and that far north, because the uh, Salt Lions have spawned quite far north on this playthrough, I would, uh, oh, sorry, I thought I went back to a uh, Vandervite. I didn't, I went south instead to Mutton Island. Now head back here, don't forget to sell off all your stuff and drop off the Sphinx Stone, which will give you three, uh, 500 Echo, but of course you spent 200 for it up front. Carouse and Wolfstack Docks, there we are, and see the likely lass. That will lose you a little bit of terror. Uh, don't forget to pop in and sell off all your bits and pieces with various people, all the things you picked up, port reports and so on. And you'll see my money's stacking up quite nicely now. There we are, 15.20. Uh, head to the lodgings and purchase an elegant townhouse. Uh, this is the first step that we want to make in order to preserve our life. The next one is going to be writing a will, that's 200, but I want to keep this 500 for the time being because 500, we're going to make back 200 quite quickly. We'll come back here with a lot more money. Um, and don't forget, I'd blown 300 on the engine upgrade, which was actually a mistake in the long run. But you see here, as I left town, an unexpected letter. Who sent it? What does it say? We've had a child. Uh, you want to choose to father the child, or mother the child, if that's the way you want to go. Um, and there we are. And eventually, I found uh, Mount Palmerston. Second time lucky. <laughs> It was actually way to the north um, before Frostborn. Uh, and then dug amongst the ruins a lot, lost that challenge quite a lot, lost almost all my supplies, and then had to buy some back. And the good thing about Mount Palmerston is uh, the fuel is very cheap, and the supplies are only a little bit more expensive than London. Now, nine may not seem like much versus ten, but it soon adds up. If you're buying hundreds of fuel, that's saving hundreds of echoes. Grabbing another 200, another 20 Sphinx Stone to take back, and I thought I'd pop in on, uh, did I do Salt's Rites? No, visit the Unmakers. One fragment, lost five Terra. Hurrah. And uh, pick up all the loose ends. I made a bit of a mistake here by speaking to the Blind Bruiser before I'd emptied my hold. You can see here that I had to ditch a bunch of stuff, which was a waste of money, but then it's off to see the child. Where is the little creature? I uh, definitely want him. Um, or her, 
Uh, so do keep in it. <laughs> and then spend some time with your family. Every time you spend time with your family, you can tell tales of far lands, tales of the Z and so on. You can trade in all sorts of things uh, for a bunch of terror reduction, um, as well as 5Z fever. When you get 25Z fever, they'll become your scion, which will allow you two legacies when you die, which is a re in conjunction with the um, t elegant townhouse and the ironclad will a phenomenally strong way to make death almost entirely harmless. And once you've got one Scion, you'll have them indefinitely. Uh, presumably you've just created a legacy. But here we are. Head to your lodgings, grab the news. Don't worry so much about resting in your elegant townhouse now because your terror is probably fine and it's quite expensive. But here, write a will. You should have more than enough money to do that. Now I've got 1900 here because I messed up with the blind bruiser as well and picked up uh, the next quest to go and buy some stuff from way out in the east and you'll see I've got pretty bad damage on my hull from the last adventure so it's time to clear it up. I've got lots of Admiralty's favours so I used those three Admiralty's favours and 24 echoes. But there we are, that is pretty much that. There's your starter guide, that should give you everything you need to get going. Um, doing that is how I got to here with the most expensive boat, I forget what it's called. Uh, the crew will, I mean, literally chew through supplies, so be careful on that, but you've got a much bigger hold. But you'll be able to take on tyrant moths and lifebergs without any problem, and they've got some great, great rewards. <laughs> on the left, if you like this kind of game, is FTL. Um, and also check the description uh, for links to that. And on the right, I'm not sure what that's going to link to, that's just a bit of random footage from me kind of uh, monkeying around. But if you like this, let me know, and I can certainly put some more stuff together. I'll probably start doing some guides to some of the individual stories. But that's it for now. See you in the next video. Bye!